Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're out and about doing a little experimenting with two meter sideband. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So it was a cool start this morning when I left out of the house. It was 9 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's warmed up just a bit now to around 22 degrees uh, the last time I checked the temperature. But we're out, uh, you know, this is part of that challenge that I put out to you guys uh, in January last month to get out at least once a month and operate portable. Well, that's what we're here doing today. I wanted to see if I could make a contact with a group of hams over in East Tennessee using two meter sideband. Uh, if my measurements are correct, I believe it's roughly a 100 mile shot. So I've come up to the top of Short Mountain and they're going to be on a mountain peak over in East Tennessee. It's right along the Tennessee, North Carolina border. Uh, elevation of Short Mountain is around 2000 feet. I'm not certain of theirs uh, right off the top of my head. If I can find that information for you though, I'll put it right here across the screen. But it should be fun to uh, take this and experiment. I've got a brand new elk uh, antenna that I've never had out into the field. So this will be uh, kind of its first trial run. Uh, so we'll do both uh, two meter upper sideband and we're also going to uh, hopefully get around to testing a JS8 call contact as well. So should be a fun day. And it was right about here that things went completely sideways. That JS8 call contact that we were going to attempt, well, I did make several attempts and got absolutely no response back. Uh, now, I don't think that was a result of a failure of JS8 call. I do believe that that, uh, that contact was possible. I think the failure there was we couldn't get the operators on frequency at the same time, and that was just a lack of planning uh, on my part. We should have been more specific to say we were going to make this attempt at this given time, uh, and I, I think we would have had some success with that. Lesson learned, next time we will know better. Now, when it came to trying to make contacts uh, on sideband with two meters, Again, uh, it, it was better than JS8 call, but again, it was uh, more or less a failure. Uh, I did make uh, two contacts on upper sideband, uh, one with a local ham who was only about uh, 20, 25 miles away, and another one with a ham over in Chattanooga. Uh, his call is Whiskey Bravo 4, Juliet Golf Golf. Uh, so I did make those two successfully. I think there were some issues uh, with the guys in East Tennessee. Uh, they were just delayed a bit, and I'm not sure exactly what that was. I'm not sure if they had trouble uh, getting up the mountain due to winter weather, or maybe they had some difficulties uh, with their station uh, getting it up and on the air. Uh, but once again, that didn't, uh, just didn't quite work out for us. However, once those two things didn't happen, I decided to make the best of the day. So I went ahead and rolled over to 52 Simplex, went back to FM, reorientated uh, the antenna that I was using to a vertical configuration, and started calling CQ. And that wound up to be very successful. CQ2 meters, CQ2 meters, KM4 ACK, 52 Simplex, Kilo Mike 4, Alpha Charlie Kilo, top of Short Mountain, calling CQ and listening. KM4 ACK from K4 UI, Kilowatt 4 United India. Kilo 4 UI, good copy this morning from the top of Short Mountain, Grid Square Echo Mike 75. What's your QTH, please? All right, let's see if I got that call right. Kilo India 4, 
Hotel Kilo, is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. K-I-4-H-S. Kilo, India 4, Hotel Kilo. Thank you, John. Juliet, Oscar, Hotel, November. John, go ahead. All right, John, I am on top of Short Mountain in uh, just outside of Woodbury, Tennessee, up about 2,000 feet elevation. Uh, grid square here is Echo Mike 75. QSL? KC4OJS, KM4ACK, copy, uh, Kenny, can you copy me? Yeah, I got you, can you hear me now? Yes, sir, much better, much better. Give me that grid square, please. Okay, I don't have grid square, uh, if you need last long, let me know when you're ready to copy last long, and I just sent an acreage thing, too, so a current thing on acreage. Okay, I'll just pick it up off APRS then. That's uh, not a problem at all. It might be a little bit easier because it is uh, pretty hard to copy over here. Uh, are you running a omnidirectional antenna or are you running a Yagi? I'm on a cow mount on the front end of my truck. Uh, that's my little mobile antenna on the front of the truck. <laughs> all right, copy. <laughs> um, uh, antenna on the front of the truck. KM4ACK, Kilo 4 India Delta Echo Mobile. Kilo 4 India Delta Echo Mobile, is that correct? Yes, sir, that is correct. Name is uh, Eric Echo Romeo India Charlie, and we're in uh, Echo Mike 75 Golf Romeo. Yeah, we're uh, just uh, mobile to uh, the parent location here in uh, Spencer, Tennessee. CQ 2 meters, CQ 2 meters, Kilo Mike 4 Alpha Charlie Kilo calling CQ 52 Simplex and listening. Heard a station in there, but you uh, just aren't quite readable. Uh, I'm going to try to turn the beam on your next transition and see if I can pull you out. All right, copy Franklin. I got the beam turned around there towards you uh, just at the end of that transmission. Go ahead and give me that call sign one more time, please. So after I had finished up making uh, several random uh, QSOs uh, just by calling it CQ, I wanted to do a little bit more specific testing. So I gave my brother-in-law, W4RPW, a shout and ask him if he could get on frequency and let's do a little bit of testing. Now Rick is about 60 miles uh, south of me and uh, we were able to establish that contact right out of the gate. The results I find uh, pretty interesting and goes to show you the advantage of running a directional antenna. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump over to that clip here in just a second, but pay attention and you'll notice that I couldn't copy him at 25 watts, but because of the directional antenna I was running, he was able, co able to copy me all the way down to 5 watts. W4RPW, KM4ACK, how copy Rick? All right, that uh, the last time I had you at S8, S8. All right, you dropped back to a S6, S7. Uh, quite a bit of noise in there with you that last time. Yeah, 25, I can tell you there, but there's no way I could copy anything you were saying other than uh, enough to pull out that was 25 watts. Hang on and I'll swap over and back the power down a little bit, see what you uh, can read me at. All right, there's 30 watts, I'll copy. 20 watts, I'll copy. 
10 watts, Hal Copy. <laughs> That's the advantage of running a directional antenna. Uh, well, hang on one second. I'll cut it down one more time. All right, that's as low as I can go at five watts. Still got you got a little bit of white noise when you miss that. Thanks. I don't have no problem at all hearing you. <laughs>